All right, let's work on the lesson. Put numbers in order up to 120. It would like us to put these numbers in order from least to greatest. All right, so I know that least means the littlest and greatest means the biggest. So I know that the least would be the smallest number and the greatest would be the biggest number. So I like to do this by counting in order. Sometimes I start from one and this one's a good one to start with one because there is a one here. So I know one is the smallest one or the least. So let's start counting. One, and then there's no two, three, four, five, oh, here's six, then seven, there's no eight, and then nine. See, I counted an order like that because I know that my numbers go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I know the numbers on this side are the least and the further you go to the right, the greater the numbers get. So that's why I counted one, two, three. See how there's no two, three, four, or five here. So I skipped over these and I said, oh, I know six is the next biggest number. Then seven, and then it would be eight, but there's no eight up here. And then nine. Great, so it really helps me sometimes to count so that I can figure out which one is the least and which one is the greatest. All right, so let's do that. One, two, no, two, three, four, five, there we go, six, seven, and then no eight, and then nine. Great, so it's one, six, seven, nine in order from least to greatest. Okay, let's do that again. I don't see a one or a two, but I see a three, then a four, and then no five or six, and then I see seven, and then no eight, but then I see nine. Great. All right, let's do it again with this group, but again, I'm going to write out my numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, which number is the least in this group? Yeah, four. And then we keep going. We don't have a five in here. So we're gonna skip this one. Do we have a six? Yes, here it is. All right. And then the next, oh, seven and no eight, but then I do see a nine. Wonderful, okay. So I know it was four, and then no five, but then six, seven, no eight, and then nine. Great. Okay, let's do it again. Ooh, I see two numbers that go side by side. One and two. All right, one, two, no three or four, then five, no six, and then seven. Good. All right. Now let's do this one. No one, no two, but there's a three. Then no four, oh, I see a five. And then I don't see a six, but I see a seven. And then no eight, but I see a nine. Three, five, seven, nine. All right, which number should we start with? Yes, one. And then which of these numbers do you think would be next. Absolutely three. It's the next smallest number. And then these are already in order, seven and eight, because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You are doing fantastic. All right, now let's take our smallest one. One, oh, I see two. And then I know three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, and then it goes eight, nine. Wonderful. All right, which one should we start with? What do you think? Yes, let's count up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. 
Okay, here's some more. I'll write it out again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, we start with our smallest number, our number that is the least, and the farther we get away from it, the larger the numbers get. All right, so I know that one is the smallest or the least, and then we have no two up here, but then I see three is next, and then there's no four, but I see five, five is next. There's no six, no seven, oh, I see eight, Good, so one, three, five, eight. One, three, five, eight. Okay, ooh, I see the first two, do you? Yeah, one, two, great. Then three, four, five, six, seven. Brilliant. Thanks for all your help on this lesson today.